Well, I did that. And rolling in progress. Uh, up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And uh, let's do the fingers. Index finger and thumb. Middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. Mother hand index. Ring. Oh, no, middle. I'm sorry. Ring. And pinky. We'll go around the back today. And switch, switch. Switch, 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 and to the legs, switch, switch. Switch. All right, let's put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet are feeling. Take it over the ankles and the knees and the hips and press on the ball three times. Bring it up to the knuckles and press once going across. Roll it across the knuckles. Bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Bring the ball to the crease between the toes and the knuckles and press into the ball. Raise the toes and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess. And go to the other foot, same thing. Knuckles. Scoot across the knuckles. Middle of the foot and wiggle. Press. Separate. Press. Wiggle. Yeah, 
and script. And release, reassess, get the ball out of the way, and shake the tree. Centering, twisting at the way, swinging the arms. And centering, this motion we breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, stepping to one side. We gather in starlight. Entering, yeah, same thing on the other side. And center. Let's walk, march, jog. Uh, so today we're going to do the McGill Big Three for the core and spine stabilization. No squats involved. Whatever you want here. Get the heart rate going. I think I'll do some squats. Some yin yoga in the X class. Here we go in five. Good save. Four. Feel free to do what you're doing. Three, two, one, two, three. Ten. Twenty. And thirty. Two deep press. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up overhead. Reach up.
And then bend back if you can. Come forward, tilt to one side. And then the other. Back to center, lower the hands to the chest and push out, separating the scapula. Come on down and shrug. Roll back the shoulders. Form a W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And release and hold. And release and squeeze one more time. And release, extend the arms and rotate. Reverse direction. One palm is down, one is up, flip flop. Bring the arm across the body, press in at the elbow. Then the other. First arm behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. And grip both elbows and rock side to side. Extend your hand and arm and fingers are pointed up, pull back. And down. And flop the wrist and wiggle the fingers and make a fist. Other hand, same thing. Down. And flopped. Come on down and rotate the head. Go in the other direction. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Tuck in the chin and Turn to one side. Drop the chin to the collarbone. 
Look up. Back to center, still tuck. Look to the other side. Drop to the elbow. Raise it up. Back to center, still tuck. And pick like a pigeon. Side lunch. Go the other way. Yeah, come on back up and let's grab a stick. We're going to do the gym stick routine. And we'll get the uh, hamstrings and calves with that. I'm going to start with some dynamic swimmers. Switch direction. Lift it up overhead and oscillate back and forth. Bring it behind the waist and twist at the waist. And keep it behind you and drop it down to just above the knees. Your hands come around in front. You're hinging at the waist and pulling up. And then bring the stick around front. Step back, two hands at or near the top, hinge at the waist, stretch the shoulders. Bring the stick across the body to one side, with one hand on the top, use the other hand to come underneath the shoulder or the uh, hand that is holding the stick, hinge at the waist and tug. And then do the same thing on the other side. And come on up, bring the stick to the side of the foot. With the top hand push out, bottom hand pulls in, in slightly at the waist. And then switch sides, do the same thing. And then we're going to bring the stick out in front of one of the feet. Move the foot about six inches away. Drop the stick against the collarbone. Slide your hands down the stick. Raise the sole of your foot off the floor. And to increase the stretch, wiggle it back and forth.
Come on down. Same thing on the other foot. With the other foot. Come on back up. Come back to the other foot. Press the sole of the foot against the stick and stretch the calf. Then let's get the other calf. And then we're going to bring the front leg into 90 degrees, the back leg on the ball of the foot. Come on down and stretch the hip flexors. Switch the position of the legs. And come on up. Grab one foot by the shin ankle or toes and stretch the quads. Then the other foot. And then bring the stick out in front, step away. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two, and come up on your toes and hold for 15 seconds or so. 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back on your heels for 15, 14. And come on back down. Okay, let's put the stick down. We're going to do some breathing. We're doing uh, Lucas Rockwood's coffee breath to energize us. Um, it is 20 exhales through the nose rather rapidly into the belly. Let the inhale take care of itself. Then we take two. Uh, Regular breaths, 20 more, two regular breaths, 20 more. So, and as you're puffing out, it's, it's almost like a little sneeze. So it's. And then two inhales regular. And 20 more. And two inhales. And one more time. And inhale. All right, we're going to do um, Stuart McGill's big three for the core and back. I'm going to get on the floor. Switching cameras. We get on our backs. And with McGill, we only raise one leg at a time. So one leg is extended. The other, the sole of the foot is on the floor. The hands are behind the small of the back. Head, neck, and shoulders only come up enough to clear the floor, maybe an inch or so. And the feet stay on the floor. 
uh, actually. And uh, we're going to count to 10 as we lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And then we're going to switch the position of the feet. We'll do three rounds on each side uh, with the feet uh, on the uh, extended. Oh, what am I trying to say? We're doing three rounds. <laughs> All right, you ready? And up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, come down, switch the position of the feet, come up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch, that was one round. And up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down and switch up. Ten and down, switch and up. And down and the last one up. Two, three. And down. Take a couple of breaths. Now, we're going to turn around and get on all fours, except if you have problems on your knees. And if you do, just stay on your back, put your legs in 90 degree position, your hands up in the air. And uh, when we are doing uh, the uh, dog, you are doing the lazy sleeping bug by extending a left leg and a right hand for 10 seconds and then coming back and extending a right hand and a, I mean a left hand and a right leg for 10 seconds. But the rest of us are gonna do bird dogs, same thing. Coming up on all fours, make sure your palms are underneath your shoulder. And we're gonna lift left hand and right foot hold for 10 and come back. If you can't do both at the same time, just do the hands first and then do the legs alone. Ready, left hand, right foot, two. And down, right hand, left foot. And down, left hand, right foot. Engage in that core. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, right hand, left foot. And down, left hand, right foot. And down, and then right hand, left foot, the last one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Roll over onto your side because we're going to be doing some. Work here, take a couple of breaths while you do it. So on the side plank, you want your elbow underneath your shoulder. You can do the plank from your knees. You can extend your legs and do it with one foot on top of the other or one foot in front of the other. Whatever works best for you. You can also come up on the palm of your hand. It's a little harder in terms of balance, but you can do it this way too. And uh, we're going to do three on one side and three on the other. Ready? Up 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Take a couple of breaths. 
and up. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now. And last one on this side, up. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Go to the other side. Up, two, three. And down. Up. Nine and ten and down. Last one. Nice deep breath and up, two. Three, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. A couple of recovery breaths. Stand up. And I'm going to switch the camera as you start to rub those hands together. Cultivating chi. And forming a chi ball. We're just dancing us around. It's an inimitable way. And center. Oh, nice cardinal couple just flew in the tree in front of me. Two breaths. And let us open our hearts. Pause on that inhale and exhale to send it out. Center, two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. And scoop some up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, Nina, you're welcome. Have a good one. How much Thanks, snow Tom. did you get? Hey, Don. Suzanne, hello. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Art. Bye-bye, right. Tom. Thank you. Arlene, take care. Bill. Bye, right, Tom. So long. Bye-bye, Richard. <laughs> OK, good, good. Uh, Suzanne, maybe you and me.
or yin yoga. But I'm uh, I'm psyched as soon as I get my timer. I can't, do, I can't do all of it because um, okay. I have a bad knee and I can't stretch certain ways, but I'll, if you want, if you want to stop, it's okay. And I'll do a, a little bit of it and then just do some stuff on my own. I don't want to keep you. Do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway, because I feel like I need it. Oh, okay. So, all right. Good. I'll do as much as I can. Okay. Very good. I'm going to start the timer. I can't do the swans and stuff like that. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. You do what do whatever you need to do. I'm just going to. Uh... I have a bad knee and and a, a little torn meniscus in it also. Right. Uh... <laughs> Both arthritis and a torn meniscus. So, so be so really careful today. Yeah, so I can't bend it very well. <laughs> okay. It's slippery out there. I'm in outside. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. um, where's my timer? There it is. Okay. With my little friend, I can't avoid going outside. <laughs> I know. I, I, I know. And, and maybe uh, it'll it'll, it'll uh, disappear because it started to rain just as I finished uh, shoveling oh, all the it, it was in the city. It was it was all a wreck. Uh, it I guess started out during the night's sleep, but it was already somewhere in between sleet and rain uh -huh. um, this morning. And it looks like it stopped, but I'm not sure. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it is here too. All right, I'm gonna uh, get going. Down. Okay. with cat And cover. And cat. Sit on heels. Mm -hmm. 
Red Nero. Hey, sweetheart. How was your dream? How was your dream? Miss the chest. Four. Or I need to chance. Really, 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 stop, stop, stop. 
It's so gosh. That's all you get, Lily. <laughs> yeah, she just started licking me during corpse. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day, Tom. You too, Suzanne. Take care. Thank you. Too.